Michael Johnson from the Ice Resin 2015 design team and today I'm going to show you how to sew with ice resin paper. Let me show you the finished projects as today we're just dealing with the sewing of the paper. Here I've made a pocket with handmade paper, resin paper, again resin here and then for an extra project a little pouch or pocket made from resin paper. Now let's begin. Ice resin paper. First you must choose your paper. You can go from na decorative napkins, sheet music, regular paper, and one of my favorites is truly vintage paper. This is a book from the 1890s and it's really lost its purpose. It's not in great condition but it makes great resin paper. To make the paper, once you've made your choice, is you're going to take equal parts of ice resin A and B and mix it according to the directions. Once it's mixed, you've got your prepared surface, a craft mat or a trash bag, and you're going to sponge the resin on. If you have a front or a back side to the paper, coat the back first with the sponge, flip it over, and coat the top. Let it dry 8 to 10 hours. And once it's dry, it's going to look like this. This is some of the historical paper. This is some darker paper that I had, some sewing paper. And it really does become transparent, but sturdy and able to use in your projects. Now let's set As up our As you can project. see in our finished project, here is our ice resin paper and our handmade uh, paper sewn onto the top of our pocket as well as some sentimental words that are also sewn onto the resin paper. So let me show you how we begin. We first use really whatever base you want. I chose to use a new Sizzix die that's called a photo box folder and create uh, a pouch or a pocket. And what you wanna do is you wanna estimate the size of your pocket. And with handmade paper, you really can tear it, you can cut it. If you don't have handmade paper that you've personally made, you can always use things like mulberry paper, rice paper, anything that has great texture and that is a little bit softer than scrapbooking paper. I think this is a little bit large, so we're just gonna kind of come around and um, get it to where I kind of like that. And then we're going to look and see that our resin paper needs to be smaller. And here is where I'm going to cut a shape. I'm gonna cut a little bit of a smaller shape, whatever you're working with. I'm kind of working with a rectangle. And I'm gonna see if I like that, and I think I do. I have a little bit over here that's in excess, so I might come back with um, a little bit smaller in there and take out some of this writing. And then we're gonna punch our shape and get it ready to sew. Before we go to the sewing machine, I want to show you how easy it is to make our punches through the ice resin paper. We're gonna punch the butterflies as I've done here on the page that we're going to sew. And I've also taken some sheet music that's been ice resin, and I've added some little words. On these little words, I've put just a smidge of glue to hold it in place, and we're now gonna go over to the sewing machine and sew. We're over in the corner of my studio with my sewing machine, and this one's designated really for crafts and paper and art, not my sewing machine for clothes and fabric and things like that. But uh, when we sew on resin paper, it's really the same. The only difference is you're not gonna back stitch as you would for sewing. And I'm gonna show you one seam just so that it's not too loud, and really we can probably figure out. Uh, how this is going to go and it really should go very very smoothly and here we go get my speed a little faster and then when you're ready you just stop and you can lift up and turn and continue on let me show you a tip that when you're doing something like this pocket when you sew the pocket you really can't pin your paper the pins will leave marks and holes, and so what you'd use are these little bullnose clips as your pin holders, or as a holding the resin and the paper in place. And let me just show you how easy that is to move. We'll take this one out. Go ahead and cut that. We can take the first one off because we're gonna use our fingers there to hold it. And as you approach, as you approach the next clip, you're really just going to slow down Take it off, sew a little more, and turn. Whoop. Make sure you, and continue on that way, and you'll finish with a lovely pocket. I hope you've enjoyed sewing with resin paper today. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out my blog, chantelljohnson.blogspot.com and iceresin.com for more mixed media projects. Have a great day.